beloved faithful and friends. Our forthcoming meeting with Pope Francis in Jerusalem on May 25th will commemorate and celebrate the encounter in the Holy Land of our predecessor Ecumenical Patriarch Athenagoras and the Pope's predecessor Paul VI. However, it will be much more than this for it will provide a unique opportunity for a powerful symbolic confirmation of our ongoing commitment to the path of reconciliation fostered by our Lord Jesus Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane and affirmed by these two visionary leaders half a century ago. It remains crucial for us together to witness to the truth of the Gospel in a world facing numerous challenges. Our times call for fraternal cooperation in order to comfort and heal people's suffering. Of course, our meeting with Pope Francis is also significant in itself as an encounter of two brother bishops reflecting the true unity of the Church, at least in action until it is also able to be united in doctrine. For as the body of Christ, the Church can only survive when it lives and acts together. This is why St. Paul asks, can Christ be divided? St. Peter is considered the leader of the Twelve Apostles of Jesus Christ, as well as the founder of the Church of Rome. His brother St. Andrew was the first called among the Apostles and the founder of the Church of New Rome, Constantinople. It is therefore an event of immense spiritual and theological importance that we shall meet as the successors of these early Apostles in the Holy Land, which is the very site of the historical roots of Christianity. We invite all of you to participate in this encounter through prayer and supplication. May God bless you.